The Juice and Bandits welcomed the Edinburgh Monarchs to Shieldfield Park on Saturday night, striving to make it two wins from two in the BSN series. But it was the visitors who started the meeting in the brighter, thanks to a win in Heat 1 for Josh Pickering. The Monarchs built on Pickering's race win in Heat 2, taking an early lead, thanks to a 5-1 for Max James and Connor Coles over Bastian Bock. With the Monarchs now up by two going into Heat 5, Jai Etheridge could count himself unlucky to be excluded after appearing to have his front wheel taken away from him, coming out the start by Monarchs Kai Thompson. And Etheridge wasn't afraid to show his frustrations to referee Jim McGregor. It handed the Monarchs the perfect opportunity to extend their lead, which they duly took advantage of thanks to Pickering and Thompson. Could the Bandits drag themselves back into the match in Heat 8? We join James and Marty as they call the action. So, Coles, Bork, Fredrickson and Hume. You line up. The riders are about to settle eight. down. The heat number eight, the green lights go on. Tape's about to rise. And indeed they do. Daniel Hume riding a ripper round one and two, getting a brilliant drive to the corner. But not so good for uh, Bastian Bork as the tape rose. Spike just didn't seem to go anywhere, James. Yeah, He's got it just, all to do. Yeah, he had it sitting, it just sat stationary with him and just bogged him down, heading it the first turn. And it was Connor Coles and uh, Daniel Hume who made the best start, but Daniel Hume able to get the drop on Connor Coles coming round. And uh, a three all this thing stand at the moment, but to be fair, Daniel Hume not streaking ahead in this one, can ill afford to put a foot wrong. Connor Coles will be right there to think with Sebastian Bork, beginning to make inroads on Lassa Fredrickson here. Bork. Going high, wide and handsome around Ben's one and two. Can he get the better of Lassie Fredrickson? Oh, he's committed oh. there, James, just at the last second. Yep. Here he goes again. Here comes Bork going all the way round about Lassie Fredrickson. Has he done it? Yes, he has. Unbelievable stuff here in heat round. number eight. One lap. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Oh, one final blast here from Bashamore. Can he get the better of Connor Coles? This will be a Herculean effort from the Dane. If he can get round Connor Coles. Connor Coles looks left. Bork goes right. Bandit slamming a 5-1 in heat number eight. Massive 5-1. Bastian Bork with it. All to do is he blasts by Connor Coles. James, he looked left. He looked right. There was Bastian. Goodbye. He was yep. gone. Justin Sedgman roared from the start in Heat 9 to ensure the Bandits didn't extend the lead further before Pickering appeared to punish himself in the first running of Heat 11. Pickering took advantage of the second chance and held off a strong challenge from the Bandits captain Rory Slyne, while Freddie Hodder filled the minor position to hold the Bandits lead to 6 points. With Pickering now out on a tactical sub-ride, the pressure was on Etheridge and Bork. But in the last lap, Etheridge ran into the dirt and the bike threw him down the track. Thankfully, the bandit stalwart got up relatively unhurt and unscathed. That handed the Monarchs a 5-1 to bring them within two points in a roller coaster of a match. There was more controversy to come in Heat 14 with the bandits looking to extend their lead. Dame Bastian Bort made an incredible start from gate one, only to be taken out from behind by Paco Castagna. Thankfully both riders get back to their feet and walk back to the pits. To the amazement of Bandits fans and management, referee McGregor ordered all four riders back for the rerun and Castagna took full advantage showing unbelievable to drag himself from the dirt to win the race and bring the sides level going into the last heat. We join the action for a nail-biting heat 15 starring Schlein, Lawson, Sedgman and Pickering with James and Marty. Still happen. Here we go. Riders settling down the revs go high, the green light on. A oh, little nibble from Justin Sedgman, but equally the Bandits make a fantastic start. Josh Pickering hanging the bike out to dry. Here comes Pickering. Can he do anything about Lawson? The Bandits on a 5-1, James. Yeah, Rory Schleim an absolute ripper of a start there. Coming out jet propelled. Here comes Pickering throwing absolutely everything at Richard Lawson, but Rush Lawson holds firm. Josh Pickering, a man on a mission. Here he comes now, trying to get up the inside of Richard Lawson. Not quite. Bandits on a 5-1. And... Uh, 
Josh Pickering throwing absolute liver and here he goes. High, wide and handsome. Can he do it? No, oh, quite. not quite. Richard, Richard Wilson. Wilson stops the run, but he knows that Pickering's coming. Yep, here Pickering he comes. switches to the inside. Oh. But Lawson once more pulls some bike lanes down the back street, James. All the while, Rorish Line, he's setting off into the Berwick sunset. It's all about Josh Pickering in second place. He is throwing absolutely everything, including the kitchen sink. He is throwing every single punch and trying to land a glove on Richard Lawson, but every move. Lawson has been wise to it. One final blast from Josh Pickering. Rorish Line's going to pick up the win. And the, the band has got a 5-1. Yep. And they get the victory on the night. And Fantastic field. stuff. Josh Pickering, absolutely desolate. Didn't get the win when it mattered most, but it's all about the Juice and Bandits in that one. The lawman, Richard Lawson, doing the business. Rory Schlein rolling, rolling back the years. Oh my goodness! That was unbelievable stuff in heat number 15. The bandits were in the trenches all night taking blue and gold grenades. And just when it mattered most, the lawman, the guest for the evening, and Rory Schlein, the skipper, coming up with a captain's ride. And let's not take anything away from Josh Pickering. He yeah. threw absolutely everything. Everything he had. There will be no action at Shieldfield on Saturday night, but the Bandits do travel to Glasgow on Friday evening in the BSN series as they aim to defend the six-point lead from the home leg of their clash. Greg and I are joined by Stuart Dixon and Rory Slyne on the Total Access show to go over all the latest news from all things Bandits. Until next week on the Highlight Show, goodbye.